Welcome back, guys. Um, yeah, the flying deer are back. They just pop in and out. I think they're aliens. Can't prove it. They're from another dimension, though. Alrighty. They seem attracted to the sun. Let's see. Can we see their shadows? No. There was a total of five. Now there's three. That must be how they get to the North Pole. There's a sea. There's a... There's a wormhole up there. Alright, enough of that. There's only one. Alright. Three hundred chickens, hundred percent health. And we're starting to collect. We're getting quite the collection of eggs. We're gonna have a good, uh, good income from the eggs this year. We didn't really, uh, we haven't moved on since we fertilized the fields and stuff. Let's, uh, May. When's canola ready? I think we still have several months. Yeah, we still got two months on those. Um, this one, three months, three months, two months, three, yeah. Oh, we still got a couple months. How much money do we have? Eighteen two. And I think was the corn ready this month? We have thirteen thousand liters of corn. May, June. No, it jumps up next month. And the soybeans do too. So let's uh, go to bed. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's make sure that we have enough of everything in here. Yeah. Looks like we can get through a month. We're going to have to bring some... Uh, all, all three seeds, lime, and fertilizer. Actually, what do we have here? Lime. Oh. All right. Well. And then maybe we should just go get a couple, uh, Tankers full of water. Oh, 
All hail the bush. The invincible bush. I hate that bush. Go fill up our uh, our backyard barrels. All righty. In the grass. That's still gonna have another. Two months. Yeah, but we need to, uh, get the government on top of these flying deer. There needs to be an investigation. Cool. We got air. Did you see that? I haven't decided uh, how long I'm going to run this series. Uh, I mean, I know it, it'll be until we for sure get the loan paid off. But uh, kind of enjoying it. I want to see uh, how much land we can get. I want to get a couple productions still. this episode 30 I believe so I see it going at least to a hundred episodes I mean that would probably be minimum it might even go longer but we still owe 350 thousand on the loan which um, I know we paid a whopping five thousand back the other the other uh, last episode. So we're still at fifteen thousand water. Yeah, they're good. I'll just leave the tanker here for now. We'll uh go over here and take take a rest. Oh yeah, and we do have to purchase, uh... I keep running into that fence. We do need to get the DMR mixer very soon. You know what? Since we have some money. I know I hate spending the money, but that is going to be something that we need. So if we have enough, we might as well just have it ready. All right, let's buy it. We'll go. We'll go down to the store and grab it real quick. Oh, did I already buy it? Darn it. I wanted to check the colors. I oh, never mind the charge. Yep, those are great colors. Alright, let's 
Let's head on down to the store and we'll pick up our new uh, TMR mixer. It's not going to be very long before before we're going to start feeding them. There she is in all her glory. All 12,000 liters of her. All right. KT-10. And it looks like Russian or some kind of writing. Well, if it works for them, it'll work for us. Thanks, car. Appreciate you stopping for me. that on the screen again. Why are all the cars stopping for me? It's interesting. Just pop this right beside this shed for now. And we're gonna go take a nap so we can sell some corn and soybeans. says two thousand dollars for all that stuff overnight oh wrong wound um, soybeans are at their peak and they're going for I'm not going to use this one just because, you know, we put it down for the cotton. So we'll go to the next high. Oh, yeah. So we'll go to the Werner's grain silo, which I think this one is up on the 
up towards the crusher plant. Even though the water mill is just right here down the dirt road. And then corn is... Yeah. Corn will go right here to the water mill. And... Let's go get the rest of it. Woohoo! I'm gonna throw this cotton over here to the side. Alrighty. Where's our trailer? Oh, it's right there. We'll take the Fiat. The 180 90 DT Turbo. We had 17,000 liters, it's not too bad. So it should give us about 34,000. Oh, no, no, these are only 800, so we won't quite make 17 grand. We'll make about 14, 8, 16, I don't know, 14, 8, we'll, we'll go with 15. Ah, oh, 14, 1. Be nice and go around the sign. I just want to double check, make sure we are at the correct place. Why is it not showing us? Oh, here we are. Yep, we're at the right place. Twenty-eight 
28,000, not bad. I'll take it. Yeah, we definitely need to uh, get a couple fields of soybeans. Distance almost almost took out the field there. Figure we would drive by and check out the fields. That sorghum's looking good. Let's uh, look for traffic. That sorghum's looking good. You can see our canola right down there. And that sorghum's looking good. Grass will be ready again next month. Yeah, I forgot to put sorghum here too. Ton of harvesting coming up. Chickens have another pallet. Let's uh, oops. I was gonna say, let's uh check our aminals. Still good on water. We're almost to 18 months. Eight more months to go. <laughs> it's just a long time to wait on milk and buy them all as calves so I think next time um, I'll buy half regular cows and half calves or half cows that are at 18 months and then half calves but I'm not sure what else there is to do today Of ninety six hundred liters of uh, chicken feed between the two. Yeah, we don't have anything else. Oh. The 
eggs. They're November. I mean, they're not too far under. Twenty-five fifty-nine. We're at twenty-two, two two. Yeah, we'll just wait though till November. Because I mean, then by then we'll probably have another at least six pallets of eggs. Well, I guess what we could do is go to bed and then uh, start harvesting some canola. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, we'll shut that off. Let's jump into July and we'll start harvesting. Uh, we'll start harvesting the canola. And the canola should be ready. Yep, I can already see it now. And we will do the canola straw. We might have to go buy some fuel before we do the second field. So let's turn, make sure straw swath is on. Yes. We're underway. You know what I probably could do? Yeah, I'll wait. I was going to have uh, Mr. Bill come uh follow us with the baler but we'll save that for next episode give us something to do and like I said this field next year will be one big field at least bigger than what it used to be I wonder if there's an oil factory on the map. I, I, I'm, I doubt we have enough money to buy it. But no, I kind of want the fish. I want to do a fish farm. Yeah, I have to manually shift this one. It's kind of weird. Just every once in a while, they'll automatically shift a second, but primarily I have to do it to be able to uh, get it going six mile an hour like it's supposed to be.
Yeah, so I don't think we're quite going to get 50% uh, of a hopper full. We might. Maybe 60%. But we got two, uh, two in the trailer now. And then, um, yeah, it's going to be close. I don't think we're going to get there. We got both the canola fields done. Um, I want to get the, the, the straw cleaned up from that little, I don't know what you want to call it, that section of the field that's closest to the, uh, to the silo. I want to get that cleaned up so we can put some um, fish on there. Bitch. But I don't want to waste uh, the straw because if this straw does pay better, then you know we might as well keep it. So I think as soon as we're done here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, uh, get it all cleaned up, and then you guys will see me placing it. Or maybe we'll wait till next episode to buy it. Um, but I do want, I do want to run and get some, uh, some fuel in this really quick. So let me go do that and I will see you guys back at the yard. All right, guys. So yeah, right here is where I was thinking about putting the fish farm right behind me there. Um, I think we can get it in there. It's pretty flat. Um, like I said, I, I, I want to get the straw cleaned up from in there. All right, that'll be good enough. Let's, uh... I'll just stay hooked to that for now because we're going to use it next episode. Let's uh, find that fish farm right there. 20,000. What object does it overlap with? Is it overlapping with the straw? I think it is. I wonder if I put it like right here and then just divert the road around it. Even better right there. Yeah, let's do that. Do some landscaping, some painting. And like I said, we can just divert the road around it. Now I'm thinking I should have went with concrete. 
at least in the front, make it look more uniform. There we go. Well, let's jump out, see how it looks. It's not too bad. It kind of blends in. On how convenient. Okay. Ah, there we go. We need corn, soybean, um, wheat, and something else. I didn't see what the other one was. We might have to use the that buy all container for the fish too, if it'll take it. All right, so what else do we need? We got soybeans, corn. Oh, mineral feed. Wheat and mineral feed. All right, guys, we're back. Let's, uh, I went ahead and grabbed another pallet of mineral feed. I thought it was 2,000 liters, but it wasn't. Let's, uh, Well, it's taking it. I mean, we knew it was wheat, but since it said chicken food, I wasn't sure. Now I'm thinking I should have got like four of these. Oh well, it'll get us started at least. Alright, we should have all the ingredients in there. Let's, uh... Activate. Bam. Alrighty. We're fish farming. Hundred and twenty cycles a month. Oh, but it's fourteen hundred dollars. This fish better be worth something. Let me tell you. It looks like it's only going to hold four thousand liters of corn uh, of each. So, I mean, the greenhouse will produce enough, but is let's see. Fish. 
we go. 11.73. Well, that's not good. I think the corn sells for more than that. And the soy. Yeah. The corn's not, but the soybeans are. Ooh, oh well. Yeah, it's almost at its worst price. July, oh yeah. Well, we have it now, so I guess it's just one of those things that you got to try it. It's going to take a while to make our money back on it. And plus, if we're not having to buy wheat, you know, just the wheat alone was... more than a, a thousand liters of fish but let me check one more thing real quick so four wheat six soy and seven corn gives us ten fish all right all right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hit that like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Bye.